It's been a while since uh, the last video. I apologize for that. Uh, life has been hectic for me. It's been fucking crazy. Shit's fucked. Or as we'd say in front of the kid, poops fricked. I, uh, I believe I owe you all uh, an explanation as to where the fuck I've been for the last few months. It's basically just life getting in the way. I haven't done much with the cars. I've been working on the Alto, been working on an engine swap with the Alto, but there'll be a video on that hopefully soon. Uh, still daily driving noob. I guess the big news at the moment is that I bought my old Supra back, my MA45 I, uh, I sold a few years ago. Had the opportunity to buy it back, so um, yeah, I've got the old the old rusty pooper back. Honestly though, haven't gotten heaps done. And it's 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 because I've been working my ass off, picking up shifts at work, because two people quit, uh, which I'm really bummed out about. Uh, one of them I really loved working with. She quit, so um, yeah, now I'm, I'm picking up a shitload of shifts. Uh, so I've got bugger all free time between work, looking after Gwen. Um, she's now nearly 16 months old. She just drops it and walks away without any explanation at all. I swear, I swear we're at the terrible two stage and she's not even two yet. It's just, it's crazy. She's a handful, she's a handful. That and uh, this year I've been prioritizing hanging out with, with people and socializing a bit more rather than just being a freaking recluse in my, my workshop. Uh, I'm trying to do new things like go out clubbing. Uh, I'm learning to skate currently. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying new things, trying new things. Uh, things I never got to try when I was a teenager because I was just a, a social recluse hiding in my, my bedroom because I was very confused about myself. And, and yeah, honestly, didn't think I'd get this far, but hey, yes, yeah, so I'm trying new things. Transition's going well, I guess. My vocal surgery never happened in March. I don't think it's gonna happen this year. I've lost hope. Uh, what else? I've been applying for apprenticeships since November and nothing. I, for some reason, no one will hire me. I'm a fucking, I'm a hard worker, but I, I don't know. No one will give me a job. So I'm still working in the skincare place, which, um, which I really actually hate at the moment, but you know, it's, it's, it's sales, you know, retail. It, it fucking sucks. People suck. Customers suck. I'm sick of dealing with customers. I would like to do something more hands-on with tools and stuff, but no one will hire me. That's about it for the update, really. But I thought this video would be a great opportunity to just go through my old Toy Mods thread, just for a laugh, just for a laugh. I thought it could just be a fun little uh, filler thing for us to do, a little bit cringe, but... Uh, oh, that's that's already, yeah, yeah, that's already cringe. My, uh, my dead name. Unfortunately, I can't change my name on the forum, which sucks. I remember some of the modifications I did to my car. So I know for a fact that I had some cringy shit going on in my thread. 18RG RE40 coupe, rack and pinion, coilovers, exclamation marks everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't have a one in there. Uh, I remember my lift back. The 18RC I built shit the bed because the bolt came loose. Use Loctite. Always use Loctite on timing gear. I swear to God. Giving the lift back to my little brother. That didn't last long. My brother, he's probably gonna watch this video. He can't hold on a, onto a car for very long. Every fucking time he gets a car, he sells it within like six months. And it's like, dude, you'll never finish a project like that. I got depressed driving my girlfriend's roller around. Hmm, yes, I remember that girlfriend. So this was new when I first bought new. She looked so different, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Crappy photos, camera plan. Up. Oh yeah, back when I used to use a digital camera to take photos because I used to have a Nokia. Um, bloody nice car, paint is immaculate. Not anymore. Daily driving has taken its toll. She's got a lot of uh, clear coat peel at the moment, which is unfortunate. Sort that out at some point. Hmm, I think I'm in love. I mean, I didn't think I'd hold onto the car for 11 years, so you know. Guess I was in love. Guess I still am in love. Didn't take me long to put the new plates on it. Uh, the old 18RG. I really miss the 18RG, honestly. Shoe pull it racing. Mm. My work boots, because this is I used to I used to work uh, out at Two Wells, um, Como Glasshouse is there. 
Uh, I used to, I helped build them and then I was working in them. Um, that was a shit job, by the way. Never work in a glass house. Um, 85 amp alternator installed, which is pretty commonplace for a lot of RG stuff because Falcon alternators are an easy thing to swap to. Install a base cannon for the wub wub. And also better speakers. To be fair, I hate when people say to be fair. I still absolutely love having a subwoofer in my car and playing a lot of bassy music. Okay, like I like metal, but I also really love bass. The things a pro will be doing: fixing rust, fixing dent, sports exhaust. You know what's funny is that dent. I'm talking about the one on the quarter. I wonder if there's a picture of that on that that quarter over there. There's a dent up there. I still have not fixed that. 11 years later, that dent is still there and it's just behind the fender mirrors. I could probably fix it, I'm just lazy. Fixing rust, I've actually been doing myself, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do. Sports exhaust, uh, I ended up getting a two and a quarter inch exhaust system done for the RG, probably like three years after owning it. I've still got that exhaust system in it, actually. I just had it modified to suit the, the dump pipe when I swapped to 3T GTE. Change the dash pad to the rear upholstered one I have in another car. I still have that rear upholstered dash pad in my car, actually. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you want to get rid of those NZ10 alloys, flick me a PM. Fuck no. God, I'm such a rude prick. Quite like the color-coded bumpers on this one. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. Some days I like it, and other days I'm just like, no. No, absolutely not. All right, let's go next page. Oh, this still makes me cringe. Hi, Marcus. Ugh. Weird, because when I look in the mirror now, I don't see Marcus, I just see Jade, and like when I see shit like this, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. My name is Jeff. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. This is where I fit the reupholstered dash. It was actually a really ugly brown colour, the dash, but it was a really nice reupholster, reupholstering job. God, I had speakers and the freaking doors, that, ah, oh, and a head unit there. That steering was ugly as fuck. So, 85 amp, Falcon alternator. That was a pretty common mod. Uh, I put speakers in the freaking doors. I can't remember if I cut holes in the door cards for that or if that was another car. I hate when people do this these days though, it drives me nuts. Also, I just realized I mounted that upside down. What the fuck is wrong with me? Parcel shelf speakers. Not gonna lie, this, the speaker system in this was really good back then. Base, base cannon. Uh, fresh dizzy leads. I hated these leads because they don't have the 90 degree bend in them. They just come straight out and it just looks ugly. The equals sign and the P for the tongue emoji. I used to be this kind of person. You know what? I still am. The rising sun's kind of cool. Blah, blah, blah. So I did it. I did it on the fuel door too. It's still on the fuel door now. Um, looking back though, this is kind of a cringe modification. I'm trying to find where I put my original red fuel door so I can get rid of the, the one on my car. I, I have no idea where I've put it. Um, I might need to just paint one red. Uh, 16R Dizzy. I don't remember where the hell I got that. Um, but yeah, I ended up modifying the vacuum bits to work with electronic internals. This was a 22R setup because I stupidly pulled the 4KE setup out because I thought this, I was young and dumb again. I thought the 4K setup wasn't electronic, but it was actually electronic with an internal igniter. So here I am thinking, oh, you know, I'll pull this shit out and I'll put in 22R internals because that's what everybody else does with an external igniter. So yeah, uh, looking back at this, I feel like an idiot. This was when I first swapped the chrome bumpers on Noob. This, it really changes the look of the car. Um, and also no front, front spoiler there. Bullshit. I spelled bullshit wrong. Oh my God. And yes, I used to do this all the time. I still do this. Oh my God, it's weird looking back at how I used to type when I still type like this. Yep, chrome bumpers definitely changed the look of the car, for sure. For sure. The 18R GTE Progress, I never I never got to actually finish that. And I'm bummed out because I had some good parts for it. So I bought all this RG shit. Yes, it fit in the boot of Noob. I got this turbo manifold, which is a really cool turbo manifold actually, like it's pretty well made. I had I had an entire setup. The EFI setup, this, the freaking plenum, like oh just I had I shouldn't have freaking I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. But I was stupid and, and, and like I didn't really know much about turbos back then. Got my girlfriend to Photoshop my car. Oh no, okay, okay, alright, alright. 
This will this will make you cringe. This will make you cringe. I remember what this is. Uh, I thought this looked cool. Fucking Jesus. What is wrong with me? I can't believe I thought that looked cool. Yuck. Oh, no fucking way would I ever put wheels that look like that on my car. Ever. That's disgusting. <laughs> Love the Photoshop white wheels. God, it was definitely just a sign of the times, wasn't it? Oh no, I was going to fit rotors. I wonder if that link still works. Well, it does go to their site still. I know a lot of people don't like rotors. I used to have rotors on my car a few years ago though. They were good wheels, I never had an issue. Ah, louver, yes. I have a thing for louvers, okay? I really like louvers. I think they're fucking cool. And I just feel like they're a staple of like, old car, you know? I, I loved the louver, the look of the louvers on this thing. I just feel like it made the, the, the side silhouette a lot nicer looking. I've still got these tools. Oh no, okay. All right, this is another really cringe thing. And again, sign of the times. I used to play a lot of Need for Speed and I used to watch a lot of Fast and Furious, okay? And like the digital instrument clusters and shit like that were like cool and ugh. And I had one in my aircon vent instead of actually having an aircon vent. And like, it was just basic shit, like water temp, oil pressure and volts. I'm so fucking cringe. I'm so cringe. Oh, my PlayStation 3. I still have this PlayStation 3. I still have this PlayStation. Jesus Christ. 23s are sick, but I make 40s look awesome. I still stand by that. Not, maybe not at this stage of my life here, but now, definitely. Ah, uh, the, the Turbo RG I had going. I, I didn't know what I was doing back then. I literally just like slapped this stuff together. I'm like, yeah, that looks sick. That looks like a Turbo RG, but I had no idea how to actually get it functioning or where to go from here. Uh, so I ended up selling that, honestly. Um, yeah. Again, I was young and dumb. Oh, this is the freaking door poppers. I'm so cringe. I don't know why I thought this was cool. I don't know why I thought this was cool. This is why I have holes down here in my door um, sills, though, my door jams, is because I used to have the poppers. Uh, rebuilt the carbies, blah, blah, blah. Painted that. I remember doing that. HKS cams. I stupidly sold this motor with the cams in it. I should have kept the fucking cams. I'm a dickhead. Oh yeah, I had a shitload of RA40 stuff when I was a teenager. I binned so much of this when I moved. Oh, I binned so much of this, and this shit I would have held on to, you know? Like, fucking hell, those seats were in good nick other than that tear. And like, I binned them, because like, they're, they're brown seats and, and there's a tear in it. But like, I've held on to seats that are worse than this now. Ah, oh, look at the chrome bump. I can't believe I've binned a lot of this shit. I'm a moron. God, there's so many good parts here I'm looking at. I'm just like, holy fuck. I have so many regrets about the stuff I've gotten rid of. These were some shells I bought, um, or complete guys I bought, stripped into shells and got rid of. So many regrets scrapping these things. I'll admit, it was fun crushing them with the tractor though. So many good bits. Still had a good seat in the back and just like a windscreen. Freaking heater taps. God, this actually hurts to look at. Sad, sad indeed. I like that I say after losing my job. Yeah, I didn't lose my job. I quit. <laughs> coilovers, which were T3, I bought, never ended up using them. I've got different coilovers in my car now, but back then I bought those and was like, yeah, I'm gonna go coilovers. And then I didn't know how to and never, never really followed through. So many things I used to do. I would buy something and get an idea in my head and go, yes, I'm gonna do this not learn how to do it, not know how to do it, not do research, lose interest and then sell it and move on. I feel like I've changed my ways and now I do actually research and follow through with a lot of shit, but part of that still lingers, like, you know, the Barra Swap Diner and stuff like that that I ended up selling. It's just, it's how I am. But at least I do get some of my projects finished. Give her a wash. <laughs> have to have a Domo. Got the Domo. Um, there's that dent there, you can see it a bit better. I don't know why I had the little bullet mirrors, they're a bit ugly. I would never fit those bullet mirrors again. Clean up the cam cover. Ah, oh, this I fit the old radio back with the fascia and everything, but for some reason still had the digital dashes. Ah, uh, because I bought this centerpiece and I fit this to my center console. So I could have my head unit down here and put the factory radio back. 
Um, I don't know why I went to that effort and then still had the digital, like it just looks stupid. I, I do change this back eventually, but it looks stupid. Also, I noticed that I missed a few screws here putting that dash pad in, um, the chrome plated uh, fuse box holder thing. I think I still have that. Man, this car used to be so freaking clean and then I did dumb shit like this. I still absolutely love the laughing man though. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Okay, that's that's pretty cringe. I remember one day I was driving past the Gaul Levet and I saw this yellow RA40 Saliga sitting there and I just had to pull over and have a photo with it. Um, and the lady came out and talked to me. She was a vet there. Um, she was really cool. Ah, oh, oh, my P's again. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I got a speeding fine and went back to my P1s. God, why did I do the stickers? So cringe. So cringe. Why am I so cringe? My first All Japan Day. God, another freaking rising sun. Ugh. See, they never sat right, the ones that I had on there never sat right. Also, I don't know why I did this. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I am I am past this. I don't do this anymore. Oh god, I even had a non. Fuck, I'm so gross. Those mirrors definitely didn't sit right, eh? Oh fuck, I remember this. Ford Territory pulled out in front of me and I hit it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I pulled all this back out myself. Painted that corner and pulled that back out. The bonnet I didn't worry about though. The bonnet I ended up leaving like that for a little while. Because I got a black bonnet, I remember. Yeah, this this was where I got the black bonnet. Okay, so and it was a mint bonnet until I had a fucking accident. Um that's why it has a dent in it currently. But uh this was when I swapped to the black bonnet and it's just stayed that way ever since. Look, I got cringy shit like this done. Like why? God damn it. Um so I've still got these taillights in my car with the red tinted um, indicators, but they've actually faded back to like an orange. This was, oh, this was where I found my freaking MA45. Okay, so these are a really rare car in Australia. So any Yanks watching this, you're probably like, oh, whoop de doo it's a fucking Supra. We never got these delivered here. There's only a handful in Australia. I was driving past one day, this house doing deliveries, and there was a car cover over it and it had like probably along here, I saw just the tail light. Now, if that tail light wasn't peeking out, I would have never known that this was sitting here, but I saw the tail light peeking out. I'm like, holy fuck, I know what that is. I know what that is. So I went in there and asked the guy if it was for sale and ended up buying the fucking thing. So that's how I got my MA45. Me hoarding more 18RG shit, um, cause I used to do that back in the day. I used to just wear freaking band t-shirt and jeans. I've gone full circle, haven't I? Honestly, Noob, I feel like at this stage, Noob was starting to look really good and more, more like what I envisioned in my head as a nice looking JDM car, you know? This this was where I, I, I reckon she was starting to actually be appreciated by other people as well. I didn't mind the square headlights, GT grill and the um, headlight covers, honestly. Yeah, see, she just needed more low and wheels and she would have looked great. And different fender mirrors, actually. So you can see I got rid of the shopping list. Thank fuck for that. Alright, I bought this uh, rear spoiler a while ago. It wasn't very well made, though. Um, it, it was very... not great, if I'm honest. Alright, I'll admit, this sticker was the best. Ah, uh, this was where I started to actually, like get my sense back of what was cool and what looked awesome. This is where I swapped everything back to analog and it looks, it looks mint. I'm not gonna lie. This is when the interior started to look really good. So we got the old analog radio back in. Um, the analog clock I absolutely love, which was a series A thing, by the way. Series B's normally had a digital. Yep, this is the valve cover I was modifying a while back. Ended up fitting it. So grinding off the stuff and fitting. I didn't mind this actually, it looked kind of cool. It looked kind of cool, not gonna lie. The interior was looking all right. I used to have a number three pull ball as a gear stick that I literally just bought and drilled and tapped. I used to have plushies on my dash. Yeah, Noob really was looking good at this stage. Not gonna lie. Yeah, painted spoiler definitely, definitely helps. Ah, this is where I got the uh, exhaust system done. The exhaust system, yeah, she used to sound so good with the RG. I, I freaking, I miss it. I miss it, honestly. Um, ah, oh, this is where I went steelies. Oh, I had a steely stage. Ugh. 
yeah, Steelies and, and more low. I like that I had the Anime Girl stickers. I remember one day I got back to my car and somebody had left a note at my car saying I was like a misogynist or some shit. Bitch, if you could see me now. Oh uh, yeah, this was where I changed to uh, GT or Supra headlight surrounds. The chunkier headlight surrounds make a big difference. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. Okay, yeah, this was... So this is the first time I actually went out and hung out with other RA40 people at All Japan Day. Ah uh, yeah, and then I had this crazy idea of a 13B Celica and I never followed through with it. I should've. I should've. That would've been cool. Um, got a rear GT badge to match the front. Still got that GT badge on my car. Honestly, the rear end, not much has changed. Oh yeah, I painted the, the center of that badge and the Jaff badge red. Not gonna lie, but it actually looks cool. Um, yeah, rack and pinion um, conversion. This was where I started gathering bits. Ready to do that. Freaking disco potato. Ah, oh, this was, oh no, this was when I started buying shit from Japan. So this, this was when I discovered Yahoo Options Japan. It's really, really addictive. If you're into cars, if you're into Japanese cars and you like rare Japanese shit, don't go on there because you will end up broke. I've still got this set of gauges in the shed. It's not actually fit to noob. This I do have fit to noob currently. The little hold the fuck on handle that the GT rallies had. Uh, set it up with all my random crap. I am still this cringe. I still decorate my shed with random shit like this. Honestly, the flares look cool, but they're like the biggest regret I've ever had about my car. Because my car didn't really have rusty arches. So cutting them out and fitting flares was dumb. If I could undo it, I probably would. At this stage, it's probably easier if I just go different flares, because these are just S13 flares off eBay. So one thing I've been thinking about for a while is this kit, just the flares anyway. Maybe the spoiler, the flares, probably keep a chrome bumper on the front, not sure yet, but I have been seriously thinking about doing this to Noob as the next, the next stage that Noob's at, but I'm not sure yet. I definitely do want a livery on Noob at some point. Um, but anyway, that's, you know, the flares, I regret them, but I'll probably go something a bit crazier later. Love that uh, terrible fitment. Your fitment is whack would have a fucking field day. To be honest though, your fitment is whack have already uh, featured my car. I got ripped into. Nothing subtle about noob, is there? No. No. There still isn't. <laughs> that is why cops love me. Ha! <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, I'm so cringe. Uh, another All Japan Day. Uh, this was when I used to go to car meets. So I used to go to those car park car meets. High Roller Club. Does anybody in SA remember High Rollers? What a fucking shit show that was. Uh, throttle cable snapped. It's all right, I'm pretty handy. Drove home like that. So this is the first RA40 cruise in South Australia that I organized. It was nice to get a bunch of RA40s together. You know, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And this thing is very nice. Harry's coupe was pretty clean. Kieran's coupe was pretty cool. That was a nice collection of RA40s just sitting there. Me and Kieran used to cruise a lot together. I kind of miss that. I miss having a cruising buddy. Honestly, I really do. Uh, sold the MA45, got this thing. You can see, you can see on the back of my legs there, the pink bows. Was that not foreshadowing? Like, I've had the pink bows years before I even came out trans. People used to ask me all the time, why do you have pink bows on the back of your legs? I'm like, I just like the color pink. Ah yes, this was rebuilding the RG. <clears throat> or building another RG to swap in. Still kept the HKS cams and everything. I miss doing this, hey, I really want to build another engine. Really want to build another engine. Okay, this was where the engine started to look really good as well, because it was the EFI the, the 270 um, 18R GEU valve cover um, with the dual overhead cam on it with the red in it. Oh, I love that. 90 degree leads definitely help clean it up a bit as well. Again, me and Kieran out and about going to random car meets and shit. Honestly, our cars look really fucking cool together. I really, I miss this so much. I wish I had an RA40 buddy. I wish I had an RA40 buddy. Your fitment is whack. Ah, this was where I started doing the rack and pinion conversion. Yeah. 
Yep, rack and pinning conversion, swapping the sump out on the RG so I could uh, actually bolt it all in. Swapping the steering column. Yeah, this is where I did it all. Honestly, one of the best modifications I've ever done in my car was swapping to rack and pinion. I highly recommend it if you have an old car with a steering box. Go rack and pinion, for sure. SA63 Knuckles. SA63 Knuckles, the Kony, uh, these are MR2 rear shocks, all the suspension components. I bought these sleeves from Japan, which were like on a skyline or something, and then yeah, had them welded. Uh, to shorten struts, by the way, shorten struts. Uh, all new, all new suspension, all through. This was redoing everything. There's a lot of photos here. That actually turned out nice. The steering column turned out good. Replace the bearing, uh, retaining springs. I've still, this is still the setup I've got in new right now. Except for this, the the top plates, I've swapped those out. It's basically the same setup. Yeah, this was everything. So I had everything to swap the sump and oil pickup to suit the new cross member and all that jazz. So this was all the shit I pulled out. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. So this was the first point at which Noob started to actually really handle well as well, because I swapped everything out. Uh, yeah, this was, this was a good modification. This was when I started to get pretty serious with some shit. Finished, such a different car to drive now. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's so true. Any any time I hop in an RA40 that still has the steering box, I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh uh, yeah, it's these top plates were S13 strut tops that I ended up modifying to cover everything. Just to make it a little less sus for the police. Oh, what are these, officer? Uh, they're just dust covers. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is a W57 from a GZ20, yeah, GZ20 Sora that I wrecked, and I used a bell housing from an RT142. Still have this gearbox in new today. So this was 20, 2016, fucking hell. It was a few years ago now. It's been 84 years. So I bought the car in 2012, so it took me a good four years to actually start getting anywhere with modifications, anywhere substantial, far out. Kieran, Kieran was a character. Ugh, goddamn. Kieran, of course Kieran had to, <laughs> such a dickhead. Nice shot of the rust, it's, it's a hell of a lot worse now, but nice, nice shot. Because race car, over two years since I updated this thread. So I went from 2016 to 2018, what a jump. This was when I was rocking the rotors. Hate me as much as you want, at least they weren't the rotor grids from earlier in this video. Okay. This was when I started to do 3T GTE swap. Still got this workshop, it's a hell of a lot better setup now though. God, that's nice. I've still got this valve cover on my car. Rufus, my friend Rufus did a good job with that. Um, my updates were literally just posting the video threads, basically, as well as a few pictures every now and then. So this is when I swapped the front end, and I got the SEV Marshall headlights from Japan, as well as a bunch of other shit, because I was obsessed with buying stuff from Japan. Um, these are fucking cool headlights, not gonna lie. So this is a Series A rad support. So I drilled out the spot welds of the Series B one, welded in Series A one so I could run the Series A headlights and grill as a bolt-in thing. Uh, but yeah, 3T GTE wiring, that was a whole endeavor. I've got a whole video series dedicated to that entire thing. Ah uh, yes, the Series A rad support I sent off the sandblasting before welding it in. And it, it actually cleaned up pretty nicely it in so it's it's series a rad support all these panels here sorry and the uh the top support is still series b just modified to suit the series a stuff all painted so yeah that was the front end of of new all done um this was fitting the boost gauge in a clock housing all right this is the last page 2020, this is just as I was getting my car running. Um, I swapped the interior from brown to black. So, um, 
source all the parts to do so. Vinyl dyed this dash. This is still the same dash that you saw from earlier in the video, that brown one, that ugly brown color. It's still that same reupholstered dash that I've uh, vinyl dyed. You can see there's a little split here. It's still some splits in it now. It's getting old. Uh, I've got two of these steering wheels. One's on display in my shed, the other one's in my car currently. This was me making a turbo light gauge to go with the 3T GT setup. This was really cool. I've still got this, this gauge cluster I made. Yeah, it looked cool. The end result looked really cool. I ended up swapping back after a while. Oh, and I was, I never finished this, but I was fitting an oil temp light as well. Rusty seams and broken dreams. God, my fucking titles were pretty out there. Um, so this was where I was fixing that rust. So I had to pull out the windscreen to do that. That was a fun job. That was, that was actually a good video. That was, that was good times. I was very happy that day. First All Japan Day with a 3T GTE. That was funny. The amount of people that, that looked at the, the setup and they're like, is that a straight eight? And it's like, no, you morons. <laughs> then I was doing all the eighties aesthetic stuff with the equalizer and the speakers. I've still got all this set up in my car, except it's all finished now. It's all finished now. Okay, so hang on, I know what this next photo is. <laughs> so this was my last update on the thread in 2020. Okay, which is May, um, which was just a, an update video on, on all this. So the funny thing is, 2020 was the year that I came out trans. I came out trans in December, or sorry, I came out earlier, but I started my HRT in December of 2020. My next update was two years later, more than two years later. Okay, so I said, damn, been a while since I updated this thread. Still making videos on my YouTube channel uh, to update the build. And on Facebook page, I have a link to my Noob um, Facebook page that you probably all know about. Noob is now engineered with 3T GTE, coilovers and rack and pinion conversion. Uh, I'm still daily driving her. Oh, also, I'm a girl now. I go by Jade. <laughs> uh, it's just like, oh, hey, I have titties now. To be honest, it's still one of my favorite candid pictures of me with my car because I just walked past and did the peace sign as the as the photographer was taking a photo but uh yeah yep this is uh me and my car have changed over the years so yeah for the next little while I did try to keep updates which were just more links to videos so this really was like the downfall of forums right here where like, I'm, I'm posting updates and nobody's commenting, you know? My last post was my Q&A video from earlier in this year. Kind of sad how much traction this had up until about 2016 and then, and then it really died off. Facebook killed, fa Facebook and Photo Bucket collectively killed forums. You know what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a post. I'm gonna do one more update. Do one more update. We'll see if I remember how to do the, uh, posting images like I got it right for the pictures random bunch of pictures to try and keep the thread alive this was meant to be a funny cringy video to make people laugh but it's kind of it's kind of really bummed me out seeing that like up until 2016 it was active and then I just stopped posting and then from there it's it's kind of just died off meant to be a cringe video and it's just the decline of toy mods. This was literally just a, a filler video for now because um, I don't have any content stringed together right now that I can have a coherent video on all the car shit I'm doing. Um, but I am doing car stuff. It's just the updates are probably going to take a while. Because as I said earlier, life is hectic. On that note, I am going to go in the shed and try to get some work done. I will be sure to keep you updated through my Facebook page, The Irony.
at least until I manage to get a video out. Because the next video will probably be one on the Alto build. So, uh, yeah, until, uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this episode didn't depress you too much. <laughs> Hopefully you got a few laughs out of how cringe I was. Um, yeah, I'll uh, see you later.